Brand new icon swaps have just been revealed by EA Sports and in this video I'm going to be explaining a bit by bit exactly what this is going to be and how they are going to work in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. So just before we get into it, if you are new here make sure that you do subscribe. I'm going to be making lots more videos just like this one and also talking to you about how you can make coins right at the start of FIFA 20 on Early Access and the web app so you definitely don't want to miss that. So getting straight into it now. I'm going to be explaining how the icons are actually going to be released because this is also a brand new feature So as we know there's going to be four different icon versions for all icons that will be available during certain periods throughout the year So first of all, we do have the lowest version of course base icons They are going to be available from the start right at the start from EA access until mid-December And then we also have middle icons This is going to be available once again from the start right from the start from EA access until mid February and then we are going to have also prime icons they're gonna be starting from December that is when they're going to be released and they are going to last until the end of FIFA and then we are going to get moments icons impacts from February and they are also going to last until the end of FIFA so also just some new information about icons they will not be needed now for SBCs like you may remember in icon SBCs last year in FIFA 19 sometimes you needed them for example a prime icon or a regular icon to complete the SBC now that has been completely removed so we're not going to need an icon in any SBCs this year in FIFA 20 that is huge news there and also icons will now quick sell for a lowered 64k of course it used to be around 100k now they have almost halved it and of course it is going to be at 64k which is going to be a huge thing as well now the huge news there isn't actually going to be any more icon SBCs this is going to be completely replaced by by icon swaps and also icons are now going to be available in packs on the transfer market and foot swaps and these are going to be all of the ways of course that you can get them so getting right into now of course what icon swaps is going to be in FIFA 20 there are going to be three so it's not going to be like foot swaps that we had one every single new one every month we are only going to have three icon swaps throughout the whole year and each of these are going to include 20 untradeable icons that are going to be available and this is going to be rotated of course throughout the year with different icons none of them are going to be the same and also if you aren't actually interested in any of those icons you can actually redeem your tokens for a guaranteed icon pack instead which is a very nice feature added by EA Sports and now just some dates icon swaps 1 are going to be released from October the 11th until December so it's not going to be from right at the start when we get the full game or during EA access we're not going to be able to grind these icons icon swaps just yet we are going to have to wait until October the 11th and icon swaps 2 and 3 there will be more information released about that very soon so that's pretty much going to be everything about it finally if you didn't know already you are going to be able to get tokens to actually redeem them for these cards by completing objectives that are going to be released in FIFA 20 exactly like we did have with foot swap in FIFA 19 if you did find this video helpful please like it and also share it around because there's lots of people right now that don't really know what icon swaps are. Also if you do still have any other questions about it definitely comment down below and I will reply to you. Thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.